All right, we're going to do a quick video here. This is the Indiana Gear Bag by Saddleback Leather. I've had this bag for nine months. Just want to show you how it's holding up. I travel the world. I live in Southeast Asia most of the time. And this bag has been with me every day on my shoulder since I got it. So this is nine months of everyday carry. I haven't babied the bag. It's been through rainstorms. Uh, it's been to the Middle East. Extreme heat. I go to the beach a lot. So uh, sand, salt water. It's been exposed to everything. I haven't added any uh, of the of the wax coating. This is just like I, I got it nine months ago and I've been wearing it every day. So I'll go ahead and talk about some of the things. Starting from the top, this handle. Uh, the handle is actually highly functional. It's something that, I, that you'll use all the time. Now does it actually look clean? Uh, not exactly. The aesthetics take a while to get used to. It could probably be removed and give the bag a cleaner look, but I'm telling you, you're always picking it up and carrying it around by the handle. So um, the handle is highly functional. It's something that I that I use constantly. So uh, I like the handle. The fabric, uh, the top part here. Now, uh, this is nine months of being in the sun every day. The top part got a little bit of fade to it, which is to be expected. But I'm not real sure if that's fade or not because I think maybe it's just because the, the wax on the top is kind of worn off. So if I recoated this with wax, it may be the same colors down here. The, la the latch enclosure, just a one-handed quick operation, kind of drops into place. So I got no complaints about that. It's, it's actually, e I mean, it's so easy to open and close the bag. Uh, this little guy right here. I'm not sure what it's what the purpose is maybe just the, the looks but when I got it it was like that and now it just kind of twirls around let's go ahead and open it up I'm gonna come down here and take a look at this pin holder this pin holder is probably a good idea in theory but it's absolutely useless it's just not it, it doesn't work you, you put a pencil in there, it's going to fall out. You put a pin in there, um, and it's like getting bent up. So this thing is absolutely useless. I don't use it for pins. I just put my pins, everything right here on the side, or tuck them down on this back pouch. So if I had any suggestions, I would remove this pin holder, and maybe just put one, uh, one, little, uh, uh, one little piece of leather there, to give it a little bit of rigidity in the in the lid I mean one YouTube comment uh, the guy said maybe just put the aluminum bar like is in the leather briefcases to give it some some uh, some form I don't know if that would work or not but uh, the pin holder is useless so just put your pins on the side here uh, I've just got it stuffed with some uh, things for form looking down inside there there's absolutely no issues uh, everything in, inside the bag is good to go the closure right here no rust all the seams are still holding in place copper still looks beautiful come around to the side and I've carried a lot of weight in this bag at times but these this design right here with the canvas is just 100% heavy duty. It's not coming off there. I don't worry about the bag breaking. It's just a great design. These latches right here, they're, they're easy on, easy off, easy on. So if you're sitting at a restaurant or a bar, you can just pop this off, wrap it around a uh, table or a chair leg. It prevents people from just snatching your bag and running. This thick piece of leather still looks beautiful. Copper rivets. The strap right here, I mean, this thing is so heavy duty, you could probably tow a bulldozer with it. It's just, it's just sturdy. The leather shoulder pad. Uh, this thing was broken from day one. I don't know why, because it's just a thick piece of leather. But this thing is more comfortable 
than the padded straps that I have on on other bags. It just conforms to your shoulder. It's just it's just comfortable for some reason. You and I, I didn't think that was going to be the case in the beginning, but it is. This thing just it's very comfortable. Uh, hardware here, obviously no rust. And okay, we already went over this. Copper rivets still look good there. There. I go to the bottom. This piece of leather here that protects the bottom. Very functional. Uh, it's definitely needed in that spot. The only thing I would recommend. Okay, you can see that it's not stitched. Okay, that's fine because as, as the owner said, a, a sewing machine is basically a, per, a perforation machine. So you really don't want to stitch into that bottom because it just makes the fabric weaker. But what, what I would do, instead of putting six rivets, I would put it eight. So just move these here, add two more. So instead of six, I, I'd like eight rivets. It would just give that a little bit more form. And move to the back. This thick leather pad right here, when you're walking, uh, this thing just, there's no friction. I mean, you could walk all day and this thing is just very comfortable. Where if, if you were rubbing canvas against your 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 uh, your skin or your clothing, it'd be kind of rough. This thing is smooth. Uh, no problems with that. I usually just keep my iPhone now tucked in the back here. I left this oxidation on the copper copper rivets just to show you what happens to copper. That's normal. They're they're real copper rivets. They're not uh, plastic or some cheap knockoff. I'll just uh, brush that off with a with a brush. But I wanted to show you in the video. Okay. When this thing gets absolutely soaking wet, it is still about. 95 to 99 percent waterproof i have tested it uh purposely through some rainstorms <clears throat> and other times when it rains i don't even really worry about the contents you can't say that it's 100 percent waterproof but and i didn't think that it would be as waterproof as it is but i'm telling you i've been through some storms here in southeast asia with this thing Got caught out in the motorbike about two hours where, where the streets basically turned into rivers. And this bag, it, uh, I mean, it, it, was, it kept everything completely dry. I was actually kind of surprised. But I wouldn't, I don't think you could say it's 100% waterproof, but it is a very highly water resistant bag, believe it or not. That wax canvas. Uh, it's just a, it's a pretty pretty neat piece of fabric when it does get wet okay this uh, piece of leather right here it'll get real soft and I heard or excuse me I read a tweet where some knucklehead said that he had a saddleback leather wallet and it got wet and then it stank it stinks whatever well, no shit, idiot. Okay, if you get any piece of gear wet and you don't let it dry out, it's probably going to stink. Okay, this is leather. It's not synthetic. It's not plastic. This used to be a cow walking around in a pasture. So when this thing gets wet, it gets soft, and it'll go, you know, right back to the to its form, no problem. But yeah, it smells a little bit. All you got to do is let it dry out. Once you let it dry out, it's like brand new. Okay, so just, you know, if you're the idiot who wrote that tweet complaining that your wallet got wet, well, you know what, just, you're an idiot. That's all I gotta say to that person, whoever it was. You're a fucking idiot. Excuse my language. So, there it is. That's uh, nine months of everyday carry for a Saddleback Leather Indiana gear bag for less than 300 bucks. This is a piece of gear that's going to stay around and you can hand it down to your, your kid or your grandkid and let them, let them carry on with it. Great piece of travel gear. I certainly, uh, I certainly enjoy carrying it every day. So 
you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I'll put the link to the original uh, blog post that I did nine months ago. It's down in the description. So uh, check it out and hope this helps.